Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am death. <laughs> I am enjoying some lemon meringue pie of death. something to eat while I'm reaping. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? In a very strange time. <laughs> yes, it has been a very strange time even for me. Very strange indeed. The Reaper Union has been working overtime. And even some of my fellow Reapers have told me they've been wanting to die as well. And yet... Some of you don't even believe that what's happening is a real thing. I think COVID-19 is some sort of hoax. That sort of depraved, insane, kind of pathetic sort of shite is that? Bloody stupid fucking cunts don't believe in something? 75,000 people dead isn't good enough for you? When the fuck are you going to believe it? Because <laughs> these people won't believe it, COVID-19 or anything until it starts dry humping their fucking legs. Fools. Last bit. Boggles my mind. I don't like having to work over time either. I like having some time to myself to read. Edgar Allan Poe's got some new books that I've been wanting to read lately. They've been worth to life. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. Yes, even I have felt disturbed by this this pathetic display of idiocy. People going outside saying they want a haircut. They they want to golf. They want to go bowling. Really? You are willing to risk death. For a haircut? You want to die for a haircut? You want to die to go on the beach? How pathetic are you that, that you're willing to risk your life and the lives of others just so you can have a fucking haircut? How boring and pathetic and stupid do you have to be that, that you're your big political statement is to get a fucking haircut. After all this shit that's been going on, you're not pissed off that the little children are put in cages? 
or or that that Trump has molested so many women. But you want a haircut. You want a fucking haircut. Really? Oh, I didn't realize that hair was so important to you mortals. So willing to put other people's lives at risk just so you can get a fucking haircut. fucking leaveable Oh, you want to go out on the beach and ignore social distancing and you are so perturbed and and aggravated to wear a mask. Why? Really? Wearing a mask is so, so horrible for you that, that, that you're willing to shoot somebody over it? You're willing to risk other people's lives just so you don't have to wear a mask in public for the small amount of time you go out to get some food? <laughs> you, that's insane. Even during the plague, the Black Plague, people weren't that fucking stupid. And what do you hope to accomplish? What do you hope to accomplish with your big guns and your ammunition and all the other bloody stupid fucking things that you you insist on having and wearing around when you go to your protests? Who? Oh, I need a haircut. I need a golf. I need to carry around my AR-15 to compensate for having a tiny penis. Really? <laughs> you, you anti-quarantine humans are pitiful, disgusting. I almost don't even want to take the effort to, to having to Walk your pathetic soul into the afterlife because because you want to golf. Uh, you you want to get a fucking haircut. Or you want to go bowling? Really? And never mind all the other horrible shit that's happened. And you didn't get all mad and pissed off when the former. Governor of Michigan poisoned those poor people in Flint with their lead water. But you're mad about a haircut. You're upset over a haircut. You're upset that you have to stay at home. Oh my goodness. Is staying at home really that bad? Is it really so much to ask that you just sit on your lazy ass and watch television all day and smoke pot or drink beer? Is that really too much for people to ask? Really? Well, if you are so concerned about your fucking haircut. Why don't you just take a razor and shave it all off, and then you won't have to worry about having a haircut. You pathetic fools. <laughs> yes, fools. Unbelievable. Yes. You would rather risk death than go out out on the beach. You have a good time hitting the ball around and jumping into the water 
And then later on, you'll get sick and you'll cough and cough and cough and then you'll probably die. And then where will your God be then, huh? You evangelicals are not immortal. I don't care how much you believe in God. <laughs> you will face the grave like everybody else. <laughs> you fools. Unbelievable. And I guess you're all just willing to risk your lives just just so you can go out and swim and you know that your grandparents and your loved ones will also face death just because you wanted a fucking haircut really and you know when I touch your hand and I drag you off into the nether world you and all your other stupid friends will be the laughing stock of the afterlife because we'll all laugh that you died because you wanted a fucking haircut <laughs> or because you wanted to play in the sand out on the beach how pathetic can you get Jeez, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, here is my last warning to thee. If you are really so inclined to believe what the president says, then by all means, Drink bleach. Drink bleach and it'll take care of everything. Yes, it'll cure all your ills forever. And it'll take away Corona too and take away all of your problems. Yes. That's right, Edgar. Yes. Please, by all means, do drink bleach. Drink bleach and be free. And cure yourself of any potential corona. Nobody should have to die because you want a haircut. <laughs> Nobody should have to die just because you want to golf. You selfish bastards. Nobody should have to die just so you can enjoy a little day on the beach. So, if you want to avoid having to take a walk towards the nether realm, then I would suggest you stay at home. Stay at home. And stay at home until it's safe. Stay at home so that my cold bony fingers won't have to touch your lingering flesh and watch your soul disappear from now. Thank you for joining us on this episode of... Yes. Stay at Fare thee well, ladies and gentlemen. Fare thee well. <laughs>